Tonight, Des Moines police are using a tool they haven't used in decades, an artist sketch, this time of a victim killed in a hit and run accident on Thanksgiving Day. As Local 5's Lake and McGee shows, this is a lost art coming out to hopefully crack a case. I'm a detective with the criminal investigation section for the Pleasant Hill Police Department. That's Detective Brown. He usually helps solve tough cases for the Pleasant Hill Police Department, but this month he's using his artistic skills. In my 40 years of law enforcement, this is the first time I've ever had to use my drawing uh, in a law enforcement capacity. Uh, it's, I'm an amateur artist and I've done portraits for a long time and uh, Sergeant Prezik knew that and that's why he called on me. Sergeant Paul Parizic of the Des Moines Police Department called up his old friend, Detective Brown, to help identify the victim in a hit and run case. It's a pretty unusual ask. You know, no fingerprints, no arrest record, um, no identification. So we came up with the idea of getting an artist to draw a sketch based on some photographs that we had. And so far, the response has been amazing. Police are hopeful someone recognizes this man and they help bring closure to this family. You've got a family that, that probably is wondering what happened to someone. They may have been wondering that for years. And now we've got this case where we need to notify them that this man's been killed. I'm Lake and McGee for Local 5 News. We are Iowa. The most famous police sketch to help in a case was the eyewitness sketch of Timothy McVeigh in the Oklahoma City bombing in 1995. The FBI cited the sketch as one of the keys to finding the bomber.